It is I, and I'm going to show you how to use this offset ruler to do the three-point saddle. This thing is really cool because in fact it has not only how to do a three-point saddle using the 45 degrees as the middle, which a lot of people you know know how to do. It also shows you how to do it with a 22 degrees. So in other words, the three-point saddle is when the pipe comes along like this and it goes hump and makes a little hump like that. That's a three-point saddle. All right. A lot of people use 45 degrees, and sometimes you don't want a great big rope like that, you know? Maybe you want a smaller one. Because the bigger the, the hump, the harder it is to pull pipe through that hump. So, we're going to bend for just for, for example sake, a 45 degree three-point saddle. Say I want it to be a two-inch three-point saddle, okay? Well, first, where do I want the middle of that bend to be? Well, I want it to be... Say the pipe has come along and I want it to be right here, okay? So I'm going to make a mark. Well, let's get away from the tape. All right. I'm going to make a mark right there. All right? That's where I want the center of the band to be. All right? So now I come over here. I take my three-point saddle offset ruler. And I come over here and uh, I set that right on that center band. I, I set the, the, little, the heavy black mark right there. And now I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to say I want it two inches, right? I'm going to make a mark there, boom. And a mark there, boom. All right? I want that mark to go all the way around. All right? Because it's always a good idea to do that. Then you won't lose it when you go try to flip the pipe around and stuff like that. All right? So there's our three marks. Now I'm going to start with the middle bend. A lot of people... If you like they want to do something different and besides the middle bend, well make your own video. This is mine. Okay, so now here you go. That middle bend has got to be on that notch. Every bender has a little notch right there. See that little notch? Take a look at it. There's a little notch. It has to be on that notch to do this. That's the, the center bend. Okay? Now I'm going to bend that down to 45 degrees. Because that's the one I chose. If I want to go, if I wanted to do the other one, the 22, the gray one. Oh, well, I'll, I'll talk about that in another video. But at any rate, so I'm going to bend this down to 45 degrees. You see the 45 degree mark down there. There it is, right there. So I'm going to bend it all the way down. So I get to 45 degrees. All right. Now my next bend, I flip the bender this way, and I set the arrow mark, the little arrow mark. I set the arrow mark, turn, turn it up that way, turn my, now I set the line right on the arrow mark, okay, and make sure I'm nice and straight, and I bend this one at 22 degrees, all right, I'm going to bend it all the way down to the 22 degree mark, and there it is, now I'm going to come over, flip it, and uh, now I gotta flip it this way. And there it is at the arrow mark. I still got my second one right there at the arrow mark. There it is. All right. Come down here. Make sure I'm still straight. And I'm gonna make a 22. Oop, a little slip. That's never good. All right. Now. The problem comes in if I overbent a little bit. Sometimes I do that. Both of my bends are exactly right. Which I did a little. Come on a little. Give a little bit. That means one of my bends wasn't exactly 22 degrees. That's what that is. And there it is. There's my offset. There you go. Alright? So there's my two inch offset. It's a really nice tool to use as long as you don't overbend like I just did. <laughs> Make, it, make sure it's 22 degrees, 22 degrees, 45 degrees. If it's a little bit off, then you'll overbend. All right? But then you ain't got to throw away so much pipe. This is good for, like, if you got a ground man and he wants to bend some pipe. And uh, he's got to make a perfect bend and give it to the guy up there on the left. All right. That's it. That's a really cool rule. you got to get it. Yeah, you got to get it. And you'll be able to download how to get it. Or at least go to a link here on... YouTube. Bye.